Hello everyone, my name is Al, I'm from Soberlab and today I will show how you can install Nextcloud to your TrueNAS. In this video we will go to the base how to do the installation for Nextcloud in the TrueNAS, that is quite easy, it's straightforward. And after how you can manage your proxy reverse using the proxy manager to have access of the Nextcloud outside from your house. And in this way, you can access any place. Otherwise, what's the idea for Nextcloud? That's a cloud option, an idea for cloud, and you have access only your network. Of course, this system will only work if you have already set up the proxy manager. If you don't have set up the proxy manager or the Docker in your system. Also, if your ISP block the port 443 and port 8, so you need to use a different option. One of those is a TLSK or a zero tier, but will be the subject for other video. If you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, and maybe you can apply for yourself, we can do it. First of all, don't forget to leave your like straight away, because if you forget, it will be better for me. Subscribe for the channel, this will be wonderful, and let's do it. Okay, before we start to do any installation, what you need to have in your server? First, you need to have the TrueNAS, uh, the revision that uh, I'm using from TrueNAS revision 12, but can be any revision. As well, you need to have set up a pool, otherwise you'll not be able to install this next cloud because you don't have any place to save. Don't need it to be 500 gigabytes or two hard drives the way that I put, can be as many hard drives as one, as big as you want the pool. First of all, you need to have a virtual machine, and in this virtual machine, you need to have installed a Docker. In this Docker, you can only install the containers directly, or you can have the portrait. The portrait is a easy way to manage your containers in the Docker. If you come here in the containers, you have a list of containers that you have. In the previous video, I show you how to install the proxy manager, and we install it, and we set up the port forwarding. I didn't explain a specific how you can do in your router because I have a different routers and different options that you can use. But I give an idea that you can look online and do a port forwarding specific for it. As also, we set up the DocDNS. This DocDNS will be used for have your websites and to be easy as well for you manage everything in a different website instead of you have only one website and different ports for each application. And also it's more secure to do it. Instead of you open one port for each application, only open two ports, that's the port eight and all this, the port 443 that will be cover all the websites that you want and all the applications that you want. If we come here back, the first application that you're gonna install will be the next cloud. So if you come here in plugins, you have a lot of application that you can have. Remember, you have some uh, application that's official plugins for TrueNAS, that uh, it's already developed together with TrueNAS. Also, you have some community applications that you can have. So you're not limited only for the TrueNAS application. But anyway, we come here in the TrueNAS application and we have the next cloud. To install any application for TrueNAS is really easy. It's only select the application and put install. Will be not different for Nextcloud, so we select the next cloud that we want to install and put install. Here there right appear this page. We're gonna define the name of the plug. In my case, I will put Nextcloud server, and here I will leave as a NAT because I want to have the same IP from our TrueNAS, but only the port that will be different. So in this way, I can come here and put save. Nothing else I need to configure, it, nothing else I need to set up, it's only this one. Once that I put save, they will start to install the next cloud, will set up all your SQL server and everything that you need to have set up for your system. In this way, it's only put to install and wait. This one can take a little bit longer or a little bit less, depend on the configuration that you have, the speed of hard drive that you have, the CPUs, the memory run and everything. So don't worry, it will work eventually, but it will take some long time. For me, I think that take around 10 minutes less time that I try to install, so wait is the best option. Once that the installation has been completed, there will appear the following information. Plug install successful, NX, yes, enable, MySQL enable, PHP enable, and all the information is enabled. That's great. 
Let's close it and there will appear this information. Now you can see the IP to access your next cloud. So to access your next cloud, you have the IP 192.168.1.65 and the port that they define is port 8282. So we open this option and here you can have extra multi points that you can add. You can manage this one, you can upgrade, you can restart and stop, uninstall as well. But now we come here in the post install notes and this one they appear the information that you need to know. So to access your next cloud, you need to use your admin user and your password. Now let's open this IP address, put our use NEC admin and that's the password that define and put login. They will take a little bit longer the first time that you log in because they will only create all the files that you need. So now you have an access for your next cloud. You come here in dashboard, you can have some information. If you come here in files, you can all the files and use it and see those files. But at the moment it's not complete because as I told before, next cloud without external access is basically nothing. So we're gonna set up our proxy manager to directly in our next cloud. To do it, we open our proxy manager. We come here in proxy host and we're gonna add our website. We come here and put add proxy host and we define our proxy host. In the previous video, I show how to create a DocDNS. So we're gonna use exactly the same website that I create in DocDNS. It will be user, let's call user cyberlab onedocdnsorg Now we're gonna put the IP, it will be exactly the same IP for the machine that I was using, 65 and the port 8282. Now we can put block common exploit only for security and become SSL and let's request a new certification SSL, force SSL certification and put I agree. So we can come here and put save. Once that the certification is complete, you can come here and click in this site and they appear that you don't have access because it's not a trustable domain. What normal Nextcloud do? Once that you set up Nextcloud, they only have some trust domains that you can go through to access Nextcloud. And if you don't add this one, you'll not be able to access Nextcloud. So now we need to have a way to access our Nextcloud. The best way to do it is go back in our TrueNAS. We need to habilitate the service SSH to access our TrueNAS. So we come here and add this SSH option. We come here and edit. And don't forget to leave a tick the option looking as a root with password and we save it. So now we can open our putty and try to access our TrueNAS. In our put, we put exactly the same IP address for our server and put open. So they open our page, we're gonna log in as a root and our password from our TrueNAS and now we are efficient in our TrueNAS. We're gonna write in, in code gauge console next cloud server. This next cloud server should be the same name as your container that you create. Otherwise, they will not locate. If you create next cloud server the same way as me, if you put enter, you are official inside the next cloud container or in next cloud folder. So now we can start to modify some information. The only thing that it's really important you to do is uh, add your permit domains or trust domain. To do it, we're gonna use the add a permission domain in this config.php. So we run it and it already appeared this page where I have all the standard information. In this one, you have some local hosting that you can have. The, where you save the database, what's looking, user, and all the information that you have from your next cloud, the important information. So we come here exactly down from the number one and we create a new line. After create a new line, we, we put number two, space, equal. Then the number two will be exactly the same website that we create before. So we come back here, we copy this website that we have, come back here and paste. And we remove this information and close this domain. One thing that's important is if you copy exactly the same way as me, it will appear the HTTPS two dots slash slash. Don't use it, only remove. So now it's only the website user, cyberlab one docdns.org. Have this one complete, we can come and press ask. When this ask, they ask, you want to leave the editor? Yes, I want to leave, I want to save as well. And I can clear everything. Now we can check if it's really working. So we can minimize this screen and try to run again this website. 
So this time they already have the website to run and it's work. So now you have Nextcloud outside for a network and you can access it any place that you want. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video where I show how to install Nextcloud and configure the external access using the proxy manager. All this installation was done in TrueNAS revision 12. If you like this video and you think that it was useful for you and you're gonna apply for yourself, please leave your like. If you don't like and think that it was pointless, leave your dislike. Subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.